Hey guys, it's Purse Sale Friday. I'm Kristen with another Chance Resale and it is Purse Sale Friday. So I have thrifted purses and I have shoes and if my mail lady comes in time, I can include an America's Thrift Supply five piece brand name purse unboxing. You'll know from the title if it came in time as of this moment uh, recording, it is not here. So if it does come before I start the upload process, I will insert that unboxing at the end. But first, we're going to go over the ordering instructions. Okay, so email me. I only take requests via email. My email was just on the screen. Another chance resale one at gmail.com. Um, please include a timestamp and a brief description of the item, items that you're interested in so I make sure to invoice you correctly. I wrote everything down this time so I didn't forget anything. I do accept PayPal, but you don't have to have a PayPal account. You can pay as a guest with any debit or credit card. I can still email you that invoice and you can pay as a guest. Um, payment is due upon receipt of the invoice, so once you get that invoice, please send payment. Um, I do not really wait around for payment. I do give 48 hours um, if something comes up, but please keep on top of your emails and send the payment immediately, and I do ship immediately. Um, I usually am able to ship everybody's stuff out by Monday. So um, also the shipping costs are not included in the prices you hear in the video for the purses. That is additional and is based on the weight of your items and your location. Um, I'm in New York shipping from New York um, also please the most important thing is the sold list I keep a sold list in the comment section which is right under this video where you scroll up and you see everybody's comments um, it'll be right there the first comment so I will also have a pending payment list sorry somebody was creeping very slowly past my house um, like I've said, I live on the corner of a main road. Everyone comes down my street to turn around and they do it in front of my house. Anyway, um, so the sold list, I will have a pending payment list there as well. That means I sent an invoice out to somebody and I'm waiting on payment. You can feel free to be back up on that item if they don't pay, um, but, you, um, but that is the pending list. You have to look at that as well. So if you'll know if something's available, if you check that list, you won't need to ask me if it's available if you check that list. And please make sure you're refreshing it. So when you're done watching the video, go out of the video and come back in and you'll be able to see the list updating as you do that. Um, because literally as you're watching, I'm getting emails, I'm sending invoices, and I'm updating that list. So you can go out and in as many times as you want and you'll see that list updating. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go over that with every time I show the instructions, but I will show the instructions multiple times for the people who fast forward through my video. Okay, so first up, we're gonna do the clearance section. So that is the out of the purses from last week that didn't sell. We're gonna drop the price and hope to find them a new home today. I do have more of the spikes and sparrows. Well, I don't have more, I have them left. Um, so the first one, so these are all Spikes and Sparrows, um, brand new in the packaging with tags. They are leather. And the first one up is the Tech Case. So this one um, is black leather. It is for a tablet. Um, I, I should have got the, did I? I think I had the measurements. Let me get that for you because... I think I had put it on the screen last time, so I'll do that again this time because I already forgot what it measures. So um, it is brand new, it is black leather, it is a tablet case, you can uh, wear it as a wristlet. You have a um, button snap pocket in the front, you have a zipper pocket in the back, and the interior is zippered and you have no pockets inside. So brand new with all of the tags and the bag. This is the um, yeah black iPad tablet, Spikes and Sparrows, new. So this one is listed on their website 
between 100 and 120 dollars i'm dropping this down to 45 for you guys okay then we had the dakota i'm shocked nobody grabbed this one this is um the shoulder bag it's a little tote it is it does have the crossbody strap so you can crossbody or shoulder this tote bag it is in the color brandy you have a zipper pocket here on the front so everything is new and in new condition you have a zipper pocket on the back the interior is a zipper closure all of them except the tech case come with a um, dust bag the inside you have a little slip pocket here that can be used for a tablet and then you have the other side which you have two slip pockets and a pen two pen compartments so this is the Dakota in brandy and this one is listed on their website for 140 to 220 and I'll, I'm dropping it down to $75. I, I was just gonna say, I do have Dallas outside and he just okay, came so in. So next so. up we have the Noah. This one is a messenger, business messenger bag in dark brown. As you can see, it's very large. You have the spikes and sparrow on the front. You have the crossbody or shoulder strap that is adjustable comes with the tags. The back has a zipper pocket and this is for luggage. You can put your luggage handle um, under that if you want. Beautiful dark brown leather. Open up the flap. You have the suede here. You have a um, dual pocket here. You have a zipper pocket here. The inside is a zipper closure. You have a zipper pocket in there. Two more zipper pockets here and slips and pen holders. And again, that one does come with a dust bag as well. So this one is the Noah. It's listed on their website between 190 and 220. I'm dropping this one down to 100. Okay, then we had the Marshall, which is the biggest. It is a business bag. Could be a travel bag if you would like it to be. Um, it has top handles and it also comes with the shoulder or crossbody strap um, that is adjustable and removable. This is also in dark brown. You have these big zipper pockets on the front, a zipper long pocket on the top here, zipper pocket on the back. Okay, it's all brand new. Um, the inside, like I mentioned, you have the adjustable strap and removable you have your dust bag and this one has like a laptop section back here and then you have your slips and pen slots okay so that one is the Marshall this one is listed on their website between 240 and 400 and I'm gonna offer this one to you guys um, discounted to 125 125 on the Marshall just get it down there in between the paper okay all right so let's keep going the next one is the um, I would pronounce this as Ayacuchi um, in Italian but the interweb <laughs> says Ayacucai um, but this is really nice I really like the leather on this it is like a croc print croc embossed tan leather um, Italian made crossbody or shoulder bag it is adjustable with gold tone hardware you have the top handle as well the um, crossbody strap is removable also adjustable you have a back slip pocket um, it's not stuffed fully but it's in really great condition very very minor wear on this one um, the um, corners I think there was only one if I remember correctly the back corner had a little bit of wear um, and then the little plate in the front has a little bit of wear. You're going to click the button up to open it. And then your interior is one compartment. 
Also very clean, very good condition. There's your branding. You have two pockets, the slip and the zip. And you do have the tags, even though it is not new. Um, I think whoever had it before just kept the tags. Um, but it has just very minor wear. So Ayacucci is how I would say it in Italian, $50. Okay. And then we had the John Galt Switzerland little camo, not camo, little like canvas um, purse. It is adjustable, silver tone hardware. It right now it's set up to be a shoulder bag. It actually goes with my hoodie. So it's this nice green camo. Dallas's hairs are free. Um, you get the um, really great condition on this one. You have the buckles on the front, which if you don't like to have to unbuckle it every time you go in or out of the bag, you can just leave them unbuckled. And then it would just be more of a flap over bag. And there's your markings right there, John Galt, Switzerland. And on the inside, you have a pocket back here and then your main compartment, which has no pockets. So really cute bag, I like it. It's very like, it's kind of outdoorsy and it's in really great condition. Um, so the John Galt Switzerland crossbody shoulder bag, we're dropping it down to only 20 bucks. Then we have the Cat, Catty, trying not to drop everything. So this one is the faux leather. This is like a nice um, work bag uh, for like a laptop or something. And you, it's like a brown color, really nice faux leather. It does have an adjustable strap a little bit. Um, it Gunmetal hardware. There was just very, very slight wear to that front corner right there. The back corner and a teeny little bit on that corner. Otherwise, we're in good shape other, um, all the way around. You have a pocket on the back. There's the bottom with the feet. Handles are in great shape. There is a um, zipper closure, and it's all one compartment on the inside. So back there is your Cati logo with your zipper pocket. Then you have a middle zip section. Did I say it was all one compartment? Sorry, there is a middle zip section. Um, and then the other side has your slip pockets. But very clean in there, just a couple little uh, minor marks on the corners. And for the Cati faux leather tote, we're gonna do $30. Next up, we had the big old Dooney orange. This is a big old tote, a nylon, um, orange nylon and brown leather, Dooney and Burke. There's your little duck dude. Um, this one was in great shape. There was just a few little like dark marks toward the top where the nylon meets the leather. Um, it's nothing serious. You can't even really see it in the video. Just a few little, right there. Okay, the bottom is really nice. Uh, there's one little pen mark right there. Um, otherwise, in really great condition. The handles are in really great condition. You can um, adjust them a little bit. You can even tuck in the little straps right there. Um, you can adjust them shorter. And then on the back, on these things, there's just a little bit of like darkening of the leather, nothing really serious. Um, and then you have your zipper closure. And it's a big old one compartment tote. And it is a bright pink inside. And there were just a few little spots down at the bottom there, nothing major couple little pen spots down at the bottom of the slip pocket in that corner there's a couple little pen slot spots as you can see it's not that serious and then you have your slip pocket uh, zip pocket with your Dooney and then your serial numbers over here and then you have your little key fob thing 
So a couple little things going on with this one. Nothing major and nothing that's going to really like stand out. Um, so for the Dooney tote, we're going to drop this down to $65. All right, then we had the Francisco Biazia handbag. So this is a strictly um, handbag or like crook of the arm. It can go under the arm if you like it, you know, if you don't mind it so far up there. It is a beige, beautiful leather and it is in excellent condition. It has silver tone hardware. You have like drawstring pockets on each side. There are no pockets on the front or the back. It is in excellent condition all the way around. And then the interior does have a zipper closure. And the inside is absolutely clean with a pretty um, flower pattern. There's your branding and inside the zip pocket, I think I forgot to mention this last time, there is a marker like numbers, I don't, I guess that's from whatever, wherever it was. So there's marker um, numbers and you have your slip pockets on the other side. So Francisco Biazia beige leather um, handbag and we're gonna do this, we'll drop this one down to $40. All right, next up we had the Fossil Crossbody. So this one is brown leather with the canvas, co coated canvas in black and brown. It is like a little uh, rectangular crossbody. You have the little tassel here with your fossil right there. Um, the strap is removable, removable and adjustable gold tone hardware, but it is definitely going to stay a crossbody bag. This one's in excellent condition. You have a zipper pocket on the front Nothing on the back. Corners and bottom are in great condition. Zipper across the top. And inside here, you have a slip pocket there. And you're branding with your zip, zip and card slots. Um, so really excellent condition all the way around on this one. Fossil, and we're gonna do drop this one down to $30. Then we have the tote. Uh, let me grab it this way. Let me move my other stuff over here. All right, so this is from Saison and C. It is a collaboration with Saison and C. It is a 100% cotton, beautiful floral tote. I just thought this was so cute, maybe for this summer. You go to the beach, go to some farmer's markets, go to the the gym, you know, the pool, whatever. You can use it as a work bag, a reusable bag for groceries. It is in new condition. Um, it does just not have, just doesn't have the tags. Um, and it's a pretty large tote, as you can see. Um, you can put it under the, over the arm if you would like. There is your branding again. Um, and then the inside has no pockets or anything. Oops. That didn't go very far. And it's all one big compartment. So this um, like type of print items on their website with the um, collaboration are going from $46 to $90. I'm gonna drop this one down to 30. Okay, then we had the littles. It's like directly behind me so it's like hard to grab so the littles that we had left are the juicy wallet so this one is the brown velour and the black leather um, I well I'm just gonna say it's faux leather because there's no I they do do both so sometimes it is real leather sometimes it's not this to me feels like real leather but there's no tag inside saying so I'm not gonna sell it as such but I do think that it is real leather. Um, so you got the uh, embroidery on the front here, the J for the back, you have the interior pocket, I mean exterior pocket, 
really good condition for its age. There's just maybe a little teeny bit of wear on that corner. And there's a little bit down here on this corner. And then there's a little bit of wear on the zipper pull. It zips around very nicely. And inside you have all these card slots. So you have Juicy Princess on this side with a slip and card slots. Another little pocket here, a zip pocket here. And on this side, you have more card slots that say charge it. <laughs> so really, really cute Y2K juicy wallet. And we're dropping this one down to 20 bucks. Then we had the MCM. So this is a luxury brand, very expensive. Um, there is a little bit of gold tone loss on the front here. Um, it is like a pink color with like a beige. And there is some wear, uh, overall wear. Um, it's not bad. I think it looks really nice still. There is a little bit of wear on the corners here. Not too much on that side. Um, a little bit up here. I showed you that corner. There's a little bit along the top. It's nothing major, just little teeny, teeny little bits of wear here and there. Um, and then it opens up like this. Beautiful, you have the MCM right here with a little slip pocket. You have this cool compartment over here. Slip, zip, slip, card slots, <laughs> card slots, slip, slip. Oh wait, no slip over there, just over here. Card slots and then you have two cash slots and then in the back cash slot, you have more card slots. So you got a lot going on in this little lady. Um, some light overall wear. So for the MCM, this is actually going on eBay for 150 and up, depending on the size um, and style. So I will drop this one down to 90. All right, then we had the Spartina New With Tag wallet. And I loved the saying on it. It said, always be yourself unless you could be a mermaid, then always be a mermaid. So this is um, $42 on the price tag. It is faux leather, um, blue and white striped with a beige um, trim. You have the back zipper pocket here. The uh, logo is still in plastic. It is new with tag and in new condition. Here's the inside. This would make like a great travel, like passport wallet. You have all your card slots, slots here, zipper slot here, all card slots here. So this is a bigger size wallet, um, $42 on the price tag. I'll drop it down to 20. Okay, so that wraps up the thrifted purse, I mean the clearance section. Now let's get into the thrifted purse section. But first we will put up the ordering instructions. And remember the shoes, I never bring back to clearance. I just list them online. So if you ever see shoes in my videos, it's only gonna be a one-time chance. And I also give you guys the discounted pricing compared to what I would list the items for if I were to put them on eBay and Posh. So because you guys are my subscribers, I'm giving you guys the deals before I list them online. Okay, so most importantly, please just check that sold list down in the comment section. You'll know if something's available if you check the list. Okay, so first one up, we're gonna start right over here and it is a Banana Republic pink canvas tote with brown leather handles. Um, it is in excellent condition all the way around. No outside pockets. Um, handles are in great shape. You can put this over the shoulder um, or just hold it. It also has a um, hook on the inside, gold tone hardware that you can cinch it in if you would like. And it also has a snap closure. The interior is one section. And everything is super clean. You have a pocket here on the side with your branding. 
and everything like I said is super clean I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you all the way down in there but very clean all the way around and here's the mail lady so I'll be able to do the um, box the America's thrift supply as long as it comes so this is very clean overall uh, banana Republic $40 $40 banana Republic. I got the America's thrift supply box so we're good <laughs> All right, so next up, I have another Banana Republic tote. This one is fully in leather, though, and it's a little bit smaller. Um, it has gray, um, like a gray st uh, string closure, I'll show you in a second, and handles. This is like a greenish, it's actually, it's green, it's, not, it's coming out gray. It's a very light green and black. Um, snake print and it's all leather it's very beautiful it's also in excellent condition and what's cool about the strings is you can totally cinch it in just like the other one just a different way um, so then the interior has a magnet closure as well if you would like to just use that and then it is all one section And you have your Banana Republic. You have a little pouch pocket right here that does remove if you want to take it out. And then the rest of it is beautiful raw suede unlined. So very clean, excellent condition, gray, green, and black. Banana Republic leather tote. And we're gonna do this one for $45. I think you guys are a little far away. All right, next up we have an anthropology bag. This one actually tricked me. I thought it was leather. It is not. It is a very good quality faux leather um, bag by anthropology. It is a shoulder bag. It is a very cool shape. I love like the kind of wovenness and the V shape. Um, and it is in like new condition. It is black. It has the zipper pocket on the back. Um, silver tone hardware. And the interior has a snap closure. And then your inside is one compartment. There's your anthropology right there. Zipper pocket and slips so like new condition black faux leather anthropology shoulder bag forty dollars oops sorry i was trying to get it in between the tripod okay okay <laughs> all right then we have a beautiful purple large pebbled leather bag by vince camuto I love this one, it is gorgeous. It is in very good condition. It's this dark purple with the large pebbles. Um, you have a double shoulder strap on top if you want, or you have a um, crossbody or shoulder bag, shoulder strap, it does adjust and it is removable. It has gunmetal hardware. The sides can open up if you want a larger bag. You have a snap large pocket on the front. The There was only one corner that had a little bit of wear right there. The rest of it is in fabulous condition. Um, the inside has a zipper closure. I'll try not to rip all my paper because then it gets all over the place even more. The inside is a beautiful like micro suede and it's very clean. There's your zipper pocket, your slips. Very, very clean, gray interior. So purple leather, large Vince Camuto, $50, five zero. Then we have this tote. This one's actually unbranded. There are no tags in it at all, but it is leather. It smells like it faux show. It is black with gold tone metal studs. 
on the sides going into the bottom. It is in excellent condition. It can definitely fit um, like a iPad or, or laptop. Longer double shoulder handles. No pockets on the outside. The inside, like I said, it has no tags, but it is definitely leather. And the inside is unlined, so you have all that beautiful suede on the inside. Beautiful condition all the way around. Black unbranded leather tote with studs, $40. All right, now we have this cutie. This one's by Lauren Ralph Lauren. It is a denim and faux leather little crossbody bag. Um, it has blue faux leather strap, gold tone hardware that is adjustable, um, but it's definitely, I think, gonna stay as a crossbody or just a longer shoulder bag. It has these really cute studs on the bottom. This is all faux leather. Really, really nice condition on this one. The um, inside, so you have the drawstring if you would like to use that, and you have the um, snap closure. And then your inside is one compartment, zip pocket there. That is a spot right there and you have some ink down there, and then you have a slip pocket. So great condition overall, just a little um, bit of issue on the inside. Super cute, Denim Lauren by Ralph Lauren, and we're gonna do this one for 40. Next up, we have this cutie. This one is faux leather as well. This is by Daniela Moda, and I just thought it was a very unique bag. Um, I loved the gunmetal uh, metal hardware. It has an orange faux leather crossbody strap. It does not adjust, but it does remove. And then you have the top handle if you wanted. Here is your branding. There is a little teeny scratch right there, but it's hardly noticeable. It has to like catch the light really well. Back is great. Bottom and corners are great. Like I said, it is faux leather, and the inside actually has a lot going on. So you have a zipper closure on the inside. This is probably gonna be hard for me to show you, but you have a zipper pocket in the back there with your branding. Then you have a middle zip compartment right here. And then the other side, you have a compartment with no pockets. So it's a lot going on in this little lady and it's in really great condition. So Daniela Moda faux leather, $30. Then we have all these, so let's get these down. So next up is a really fun Aztec bag by Canyon Sky. Um, I'll read the material because I don't remember what it is but it has really long shoulder handles. It is not gonna be a crossbody unless you're on the shorter side because it is like kind of high up on my side. So it's gonna be just a longer shoulder bag. Um, I just thought the print was fun. Um, it has a pocket on the front with a zipper pocket. You have a pocket on the side here and here. And the back has no pockets. It is in excellent condition. And then your interior has a zipper closure. It has like antique gold tone hardware. The interior is one section. It's made in India and it doesn't say a, it doesn't say, um, fabric tag, it doesn't have a fabric tag. So there's your zip and uh, your branding and no slips on this side. Very clean, excellent condition all the way around, Canyon Sky, and we're gonna do this one for $28.
Next up we have um, two Rebecca Minkoffs. So the first one is actually faux leather. I was shocked. I didn't think Rebecca Minkoff makes faux leather. She definitely tricked me because this is a very beautiful, I thought, leather bag. It is soft. Doesn't smell like it though. It is soft like leather, like a beautiful, um, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, there's silver tone studs on it. It's kind of quilted. It is new without tag. It is a crossbody bag and it has a little bit of uh, silver tone chain detail on the strap. Um, so it is in new condition, even though there's no tag. There's your RM for Rebecca Mingoff. Beautiful, beautiful. I thought it was leather, but the tag says it is all man-made material. So the inside has a zipper pocket with Rebecca Minkoff and nothing on the other side. So um, it does say made in Cambodia, man-made man materials. And if we wanna check for the phone, we're good to go. Perfect fit. So for this one, um, the one with the studs, new without tag, $48. Then I have the infamous Rebecca Minkoff crossbody, but this one's in really good condition, you guys. <laughs> so it's a black leather, it is leather, with gold tone. You have that on the top of the shoulder. Gold tone, metal chain, um, and then the you have the front. This is the smaller one. These two zipper pockets are not functional, but this top one is. You have all of the tassels on this one. Uh, you have the Rebecca Minkoff on the back. Feet. Everything's in really great condition on this one. Not like the ones that I get in my thread up boxes. <laughs> this one's in really nice condition. And then the inside is great. You just have the um, adhesive staining coming through on the top. All right, other than that, she's good. She's got your Rebecca Mink off right there with your slip. All right, so excellent condition, black leather, gold tone hardware, crossbody, Rebecca Mink off. And this one we're gonna do for, four, for 40, yeah, $40. All right, next we have a brand new with tag, um, tan leather crossbody with gray felt. Um, this is by Hearth and Hand with Magnolia from Target. I just thought this was so cute and this can be any season. Um, it, the leather is really nice. You got the felt. The handle is adjustable, but it's still going to be a crossbody bag. Um, it is new with tag and in new condition. It's like a little canteen. It is silver tone hardware. Oh, let me just see the. Okay, the zipper got stuck on the paper. So the inside, you have your branding here, a slip pocket, and that's it. So it does say that it's felt and leather down at the bottom. Really cute, hearth and hand. And we're gonna do this one for $30. Next up I have, we're gonna be up here now. So this one is Marco Avani. That one's my favorite. <laughs> So this one's really nice as well. This is probably like my top three for today. This one is by Marco Avani, A-V-A-N-E. It is a black, sorry, brown leather shoulder bag. It is in excellent condition. You have the tassels here on the front, uh, gold tone stud details all over the front and back. Really great condition on this one. Um, 
handle is great. You have the studs on the top of the handle. This is a shoulder bag. You have the drawstring closure as well as a snap closure. The inside is one compartment. There is your branding with your zipper pocket and your slips. So excellent condition on this one all the way around. Michael Avani, $48. Marco, Marco Avani, $48. <laughs> okay, now we're up to this one. This is my favorite. It took all I had inside of me not to keep this one, but it's a little too big for me. So I'm gonna offer it to you guys as I move the camera, sorry. This is by Poolacati. It is a, um, if I can get it citrum weighted, it is a crossbody. You can only adjust it longer. So it's definitely a crossbody bag. It is like a taupe with this beautiful calf hair flap, you guys. And these um, antique gold tone studs. Um, now, the only thing wrong with this bag is there's a little bit of the calf hair missing right here, but you honestly can't really notice because the color of the bag is so dark in that spot. So, but I just wanna tell you, but the rest of it is beautiful. The um, corners and bottom are in really great shape. The back, even along the top here where it would hit your body is in really great shape. There's no missing hair. It's almost like a purple, like it's almost so taupe that it's kind of giving off a little bit of a purple vibe. Um, so really excellent condition, except that one little spot right here. The back of this, I think it's supposed to be like that because it's it's like the real hide, it's a hide. So it's gonna have some imperfections because it is the raw uh, suede on the other side. And then up here on the front here, underneath the flap, you have a big pocket. And then the inside is a zipper closure. And it's one compartment on the inside. And this one is Pulicati Made in Italy. Beautiful branding plate with your pocket. And the rest, um, oh, you have pockets on this side. Look at that, you even have the, the studs on the inside holding that pocket on. Kind of see it there. And the rest is the raw suede. Absolutely stunning bag, you guys. Ugh. But it's just a little too big for me. So, so Pulicati, beautiful calf hair and leather. And we're gonna do this one for uh, $65. 65 on that one you guys that's a steal of a deal i actually lowered it i had it at 80 but i'm like let me just give you guys a good deal 65. all right next up we're going over to the Dunies. so let's bring them down we have i believe this one is the Dooney essex it is a taupe and brown or i should say tan and it's a crossbody you can make it longer only with your brass hardware. So somebody had this knotted, so there is like a heavy um, bend in the strap right here. It, there's no nothing broken about it, there's just a heavy bend. So I would maybe hang it like the other way to kind of get that bend out if that bothers you. Um, but this is the bag, It I did clean it up and condition it. So the brown trim was super dry, um, but I did get it, you know, pretty nice. It does have its little hang tag over here. And the corners do have some minor wear. It's nothing too major. I did clean it up and condition everything. You have a pocket here on the back, which is in excellent condition. I'll put that back later. 
you have just a teeny little something right down there. As you can see, there's a little bit of darkening of the corners. And there's a couple little marks on the bottom. You can't really tell, but like right here. And then there's the other side. So very light wear to the corners. All right, there's sides. Like I said, I did clean it up, condition everything to come into the bag. You go like so. Okay, nice up here. Then the interior, you have your little pockets. It does have talon zippers. So you have the pocket here, pocket here, and zipper pocket back there. There is pen marks in that corner and a little bit over there, not terrible. Here is your, okay, your little serial number. So a couple little things going on with this one, but not terrible. I think it's still absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we're gonna do 65 on this one. Okay, then we have this little cutie, OMG, look at this thing. So this is new without tag. This is the Dooney Bitsy. How stinking cute is this? Now your phone will not fit in this. However, I think it's adorable. Um, what I would do with this, I would either get a gold tone crossbody chain and wear it like that. Or if I had like a larger Dooney, um, I would actually attach it to the larger one, like have it like a little, like, um, almost like a little, like wallet type of thing, or maybe like uh, your cosmetics in it. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it on this one, but I'm just kind of showing you that I would, um, open up the strap and kind of put it on here and have like a twofer. Cause you can, I'm pretty sure you can totally open this strap completely and then just have it on there like that. Or even on a regular bag. I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. I had to have it. So like I said, it's brand new without the tags. There is nothing wrong with it. You have the hang tag here, the leather, everything's in great shape. The canvas is in great shape. It's brown on beige. Um, the corners are in great shape. Um, it does have a little zipper closure. The interior is perfect. Is that a little fuzz? Yeah, it's a little fuzz down there. So you have your Dooney right there. You have a zipper pocket. And inside the zipper pocket, it says your Bitsy bag. And then you still have, they still include the little, t the little key fob. And then there is a serial number down here as well. Jeez Louise. It's right there. There you go. So really, really perfect little bag. It is the cutest thing ever. Um, if I was to fit my phone in it, it would only fit that much. <laughs> but it's super cute. And shockingly, these are really expensive. I was looking them up on eBay. They're still like $100. So I'm not gonna charge you guys 100, I'm gonna ask 45. Super cute. Dooney Bitsy. Okay, then we have, all right, so now these next two, I know I told you guys I don't like doing patent leather. However, these are faux. So, and they're brand new with tags. So the first one up is, this is by Beho. It is brand new with tags. This one is called the Olive Martini Platinum. The uh, MSRP is $95, but it is all faux. So you have like this gray, like a taupe. It's more like a taupe patent leather with the faux brown suede and this like green croc print patent leather. It's a shoulder bag. It is brand new with tag and in brand new condition. Okay, there is a little bit of a bend in the strap right here. So just keep that in mind. 
and then the inside it has silver tone hardware and you've got all of these pockets. So the back pocket is a snap closure with your Beho and a zipper pocket. Then you have the zippered middle. Then you have the front snap section. which has your slips. So really fun bag, brand new. It is faux patent leather and faux suede, um, $95 MSRP. And we're gonna do this one for 40. Let me put you right there. Okay, so I do have another one. This one is also Beho. This is also um, faux patent leather. This one is so cute. This one is a little heavier though, so just keep that in mind. This one is actually the Founders Edition one, and this one retails for $125. It is this beautiful like pearl pink with this um, like satin-like fabric, and it's kind of like a little bucket bag. So again, this one is new with tag and in new condition. I think I just saw like a little mark. Yeah, so there it does look like there's a little mark right there, which is weird. It probably happened at the store, I don't know. I don't know, but that's all that's wrong with it. It is just a shoulder bag. It is so cute. You got your hang tags. Um, it does have a drawstring closure and also a flip flap top closure. And then let's open this up a little bit. And then inside it's one compartment. And you have a zipper pocket back there. And then you have your slips on that side. So I just thought they were fun and they were new with tag and I can give you a good deal on them. So for the Beho pink, we're gonna do 45. Okay, let's grab the rest of these guys over here so I don't have to reach so far. And the next one up is the Mira bags. So this is Mira, M-Y-R-A, and it is leather and canvas. This one's a crossbody. You can make it a shoulder bag. It has like antiqued gold tone hardware. And this one's really fun, like if you're going on vacation to like a waterfront area, um, it says Blue Whales Bay, Nantucket Harbor, sailing New England since 1925, offshore regatta. And this is in um, like new condition. You have a pocket here on the front, a zipper pocket on the back. Excellent condition all the way around. You have the zipper pull on top, and inside you have your Myra bag, and there are no pockets. Again, this will fit your phone, no problemo. It can actually probably even fit it right in the front, yeah. So really great, excellent condition, fun little like uh, vacation bag, or if you just like Nantucket kind of stuff, which is cool. So this one we're gonna do $25. Then we have the big Myra bag. And this one is also canvas and leather. This is more like a tote. Very large. Um, you, this is like a, a fabric. It's not exactly canvas, cause that's canvas. So you got like the Aztec print. You got the leather down along the bottom. This one's also in very excellent condition. You have a pocket on the back. You have the longer double shoulder straps that can be adjusted like an inch either way. And then you have the leather around the top. You have a zipper closure. One compartment. Nice and clean. There's your branding with your slip pocket and I mean zip pocket and there's your slips. 
So beautiful bag, very, very good condition, canvas and leather, and we're gonna do the bigger tote for 48. Next up we have, flip the page, and we're gonna do the sack. This is a really nice bucket bag. Um, look at me with all the taupe colors today. So this one is the sack. It is a shoulder bag. It cannot be adjusted. It has leather and um, fabric woven handle, silver tone hardware, and it's like a really cute bucket bag. It's in really great condition. You have the pull drawstrings on each side. There's only like two things wrong with this, and the first thing is there's a little... I think that's um, the glue residue, but I couldn't get it off. So there's a little glue residue along the top and then the other side of the hang tag is missing. It's supposed to be like that on the other side, so that's missing. But other than that, it's in excellent condition. It's got the little uh, weaving on the bottom. It does have not only the drawstring closure, but it does have a snap closure as well. And then inside is one compartment. <laughs> All right, then you have the sack right here with your zipper pocket and you have slips on the other side. Very clean, only those two little minor issues on the outside. So for the taupe leather, the sack bucket bag, $40. Next up, we have another tote. This one is um, canvas and faux leather. This one is by Mango. It is a like an olive green, army green canvas tote with tan faux leather and gold tone studs, metal studs. Excellent, excellent condition studs on the other side as well. They're all present and accounted for. You have the shoulder straps on top or handles. Um, snap closure. This one also has just one in uh, compartment. I'm trying to throw it far enough so it's not all over all the other purses. <laughs> all right, so there's your branding mango with a zipper pocket and then on the oh no that's it so there's just a zipper pocket there very clean interior mango canvas and faux leather tote and we're going to do this one for thirty dollars next up we have um i would say that this is new without tag this is a bagalini tote it is black nylon it is a larger style tote, as you can see. It has the longer shoulder straps um, in like a, some kind of fabric, I don't know. But it is like new. So on the outside, you have a back snap pocket. The front, you have a um, front po pouch pocket and a zippered pocket. Like I said, oh wait, oh it has side pockets. A side pocket on each side. Like I said, excellent condition, like new. The interior is a zipper closure. This would make a great travel bag or carry-on bag for the plane, work bag, you name it. Zipper pocket there, slips there. Like new condition, Bagalini black tote shoulder bag, $45. Okay, so before we continue, I'm going to put up the ordering instructions again. I'm gonna clean up some paper and then we're gonna keep going. Okay, so make sure you're checking that sold list. Um, down in the comment section, you'll know if something's available or not. If you check the list and you can update that list, Every time you go out of the video and come back in, it will update for you. Okay, so next up we have a Kate Spade. This one is a black, every, they're all falling on me. 
This one is a black nylon and leather shoulder bag. Actually, it might be, I mean, it fits, but it might be more of a handbag or crook of the arm bag. Woo! Um, so it's in great condition. There's just a little bit of wrinkling in the nylon, nothing serious. You have this nice big plastic Kate Spade plate, um, leather trim, leather handles, leather around the bottom, which is in excellent condition. Maybe a little spotting right there. There's the back, a little bit of wrinkling on the back. Handles are in great shape. Open up the interior. There is no closure on this bag. No, there's no magnet, no, no closure. You have a middle section that is zippered. The back section has your Kate Spade with your zipper pocket. Then you have the middle zip section. The middle zip section does have a little bit of like a pink staining, like a pink tint to it. I think maybe someone's blush was in there. I did clean it out. It's just a little bit tinted. Um, and then you have the front pocket, which has slip pockets. All right, so great condition, couple teeny little issues, Kate Spade, and we're gonna do this one for 50, five zero. It is quite large. Next up, we have two coach bags. So now they're both black, but one is leather and one has fabric. So make sure you're very clear with your emails or giving me a time um, screenshot. So the first one is a black leather shoulder bag. Um, it does come with the shoulder strap, but it is strictly a shoulder bag. Um, these can fold down. Um, it is black leather and silver tone hardware. You do have the coach hang tag here. Beautiful leather. If you're not using the shoulder strap, these hooks can hook right down here if you would like it to. It is in a very nice condition. Bottom and corners, beautiful. Handles, beautiful. This one also. The interior is a zipper closure. And then you have a uh, you have one section on the inside. It's this beautiful purple color. Here is your um, Creed with your zipper pocket and your slip, slip on that side. So clean interior, excellent condition on the outside. Coach black leather shoulder bag. And we're gonna do this one for 55. Then we have this one, which I prefer better. I don't think I've ever seen one with a blue. This is blue and gray. Um, snake print patch down, striped down the front. It is black signature C um, with black patent leather. And you have two hang tags. You do have a pocket here on the front. It does come with a crossbody or shoulder strap that can be removed. I thought that th this couldn't, but this actually opens and I think that is really cool. How slick does that look? So crossbody or shoulder strap and top handles. This bag is in excellent condition. Even the piping is in excellent condition. The um, canvas is in excellent condition. The handles are in excellent condition. You're gonna open up the top, which is a zipper closure. And the inside is one compartment. And it is black and clean. Little fuzzies from the paper. You have your zipper pocket with your Creed and your zipper slip pockets. <laughs> so overall, I absolutely love this one. And this one we're gonna do for $65.
Next up we have Michael Kors. So the first one up is a mauve Saffiano leather crossbody bag. Gold tone hardware, you can adjust it shorter, longer. Can adjust it longer. Uh, gold tone chain detail on the strap as well. You have the Michael Kors here on the front. There is very light scratching, hardly noticeable. Um, the bottom and corners are really great. There's just one corner right here that's missing just a dab of the color on the edge coat. I can probably fix that up for you. Just do a little dab of black if you want. The back has a pocket. So everything else looks nice on this one. And then the interior, you lift up this little thing here, then open it up and you have your, this is a Michael by Michael Kors. You have your card slots and a slip pocket. Ooh, the phone does fit. It's a tight fit, but it goes. A fit is a fit, right? So that fits. So mauve, saffiano leather, Michael Kors, crossbody, $45. Then we have a brown or tan leather, Michael Kors hobo. This one is thick leather, pebbled, beautiful leather, it is a shoulder bag. It has some chunky gold tone hardware with your hang tag. It has zipper pockets here, slip pockets here, and in the back. This one's in very, very nice condition. Gorgeous, larger hobo. Then the inside you have a snap closure. Not that you can see it, there you go. <laughs> and it is one compartment. This one does come with a dust bag. The inside is clean. You have, this is a Michael by Michael Kors. You have your zipper with your slips and more slips on this side. And yeah, it is clean in there. <sighs> Got a little key fob down there. So for the tan leather Michael Kors Hobo, it is a little heavy. Um, we're gonna do this one for 60. All right, then we have, the next two are my favorite. I Michael Kors is not really a fan of mine. I do appreciate the beautiful leather, like that leather one was amazing. Um, but these two, I had to really hold myself back from keeping them. And I'll show you why I didn't keep them. First of all, I'm super picky. And second of all, I like to offer you guys the bags first. I don't need them. <laughs> So the first one, well, let's just say the next one is a shoulder bag. So that's why I don't like this one is because it's a shoulder bag. I prefer crossbodies, um, but this is so gorgeous. This is like a um, gray, a light gray shoulder bag by Michael Kors. It is leather. You have this beautiful tassel here on the front. Another one on this side. <coughs> excuse me it does say Michael Kors on the hardware oh excuse me um, this I think is plastic but these are metal so so it's not gonna be very heavy you can adjust the strap a little bit uh, larger and short shorter and longer it's not gonna be a crossbody bag though it is in excellent condition all the way around even the handle is in excellent condition. You have a zip top on the inside uh, closure.
and the inside is beautiful. This is a Michael Kors top tier Michael Kors collection, um, zipper pocket and slip. Very clean. You have a key fob thing right there. Very clean all the way around. Actually, I think there was, okay, on the back, there is a little teeny scratch right there. But you cannot see it unless you're like. <laughs> so for the light gray, now I just messed up the handle, there we go. Light gray leather Michael Kors collection. I am going to do this one for, oh, by the way, this one online is anywhere from 80 to $250, depending on the um, condition. I think this one's called something medium. Crap, I forget already. Anyway, $75 on this one. It's listed online for 80 to 250. So 75 on the Michael Kors. It's like a cement light gray. All right, now this one is my super favorite. So this one is Michael Kors. It is a blue leather snake embossed purse. It has a top handle. It has a crossbody strap. Yes, this is crossbody. It can go longer but not shorter. So it'll be a longer shoulder bag if you want it that way. It's uh, gold tone hardware. I love the two different sides on the strap. Um, it has the plate there. It's, it has a very teeny little bit of scratching on it, not terrible. You have a pocket here on the back, that's snap closure. It is in excellent condition all the way around except for a little bit of scratching on there. Um, you push down and up. Gorgeous. The inside, this is a Michael by Michael Kors. There's your zipper pocket and your slips. Excellent condition all the way around on this one couple little scratches on the front stunning Michael Kors bag $85 okay now we're gonna get into the littles so let's see up first they're down here so let me just bring them up here all right so up first we have a Michael Kors this is a little shoulder bag you can put it under the arm. If you want, you can change the strap to over here and make it a wristlet. You can add a gold tone chain and make it a crossbody if you would like. I do have one if you're interested in doing that. This is a coated canvas, brown on brown, with the brown Saffiano, more like a tan Saffiano leather handle, gold tone hardware, there's not really any wear to this bag at all. It is in very, very good condition. You have the pocket here on the front and then your zipper closure on the top. This is a Michael by Michael Kors, which is the lower end line. There's your credit card slots and your slip pocket. So for this Michael Kors little shoulder bag, wristlet, you can make it into a crossbody. We're gonna do it for $30. Next we have a Betsy Johnson, super cute little pouch. It could be a wristlet if you would like. It's faux patent leather and black. Um, this does not remove though. And this is like a nylon material. It is in very good condition. There's your Betsy Johnson gold tone plate. You got all these little, almost Ed Hardy style, especially with the sparrow and the rose. So very cute. This is in a pink. So it's coming off a little bit red. It's like a really dark, bright pink, if that makes sense. Like a dark neon pink. I don't know if that makes sense. Fuchsia even. So we're gonna open it up. It's in very, very good condition all the way around. 
and you have one compartment, no pockets. So super cute Betsy pouch, and we're gonna do this one for $14, excellent condition. Then we have this little cutie. This is a little beaded little coin purse. It is a super cute little strawberry. Um, I think it's in good condition. I don't really see anything wrong with it. Um, I don't think anything's missing. So I think we're good and it's super duper cute and it's got a little zipper closure on top and then you have a little section in there. So really cute, really tiny little, um, wait, did I just feel something? No, okay. So we're gonna do the little strawberry for $10. All right, then we have a, the rest of the items are brand new with tag. So I have this pouch. This is by Sarah Miller London. This is a faux Safiano leather. Um, it is a blue with all these beautiful birds on it. I think they're bird of paradise, I don't know. It has a pocket on the back. It has the, um, I don't know, I thought it had plastic on it. But it is new with tag and in new condition. And the top opens up to a really pink, really bright pink, clean interior. So this is Sarah Miller, London. And we're gonna do this one for $12. Then we have a La Sport sack. This is brand new with tag as well. I usually don't pick up La Sport sack, but this is brand new with tag and it's a collaboration. So it is a Alber Elbaz collaboration. Um, celebrating women around the world with one of the most loved fashion designers. Discover the new collection that's bursting with laughter and sealed with a kiss, all made with love. Um, so the price tag on it is $50. And it's kind of like this blue, black, and beige um, cheetah print. And then you have the Le Sport sack written in all over it and it is a zip around little case. So it's um, gunmetal hardware. Oh, they don't even let you un, they don't even let you unzipper it because they put the tag. So you can't even see what's inside. That's kind of doo doo. You can move the other zipper, but you can't separate them. Sorry, I can't tell you what's inside. Extra Large Ivy Cosmetic Color Me Leopard Blue. Well, it's a cosmetic case. Sorry, I can't show you what the inside looks like, but it's brand new and has 50 bucks on the price tag, but I'm gonna do this for you guys for 25, half price. And then the other new with tag item I have is Kate Spade. So this is so cute. So this is, um, this is probably like a patent leather or plastic, I'm not really sure. It says get to the point. It has the Kate Spade on the back and you'll see why it says get to the point. It does have the tag. Um, the price has been taken off of this, but I did find other ones online and they are uh, retailing for $30. So you have the gold tone on the top and then the inside. So it says get to the point, right? It's a little pencil set. How cute is this? So you get the little um, sharpener. You get a little eraser. You get a ruler with Kate Spade on it. And you get two little pencils and they have the little spade on the top. How stinking cute is this? I love this. Look at what the back of the of the eraser says. To error is human. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. Anyways, so it's a retail $30. Now you understand why it says get to the point. So I'm gonna offer this to you guys for 25. I think it's well worth it. I love it, it's amazing. Okay. So now let's get into the shoes. I'm gonna put the ordering instructions up on the screen again, so bear with me. Remember 
to check the sold list. It is very important for you to check the sold list. You'll know if something's available if you check the list, go out of the video, come back in, and it will be refreshed. I also have the pending list, which means I sent an invoice to somebody and I'm waiting on payment. Okay, so first up, I did check the kids section again at Savers, and I found these. I'm pretty sure they're new. Ugg boots. And they are just so cute. They're like this, almost like a tweed style, black um, with the suede on the back. And then it has this really pretty lace up back detail. Oh, if these were in my size. And then you can tie it. Um, these are, like I said, I'm pretty sure they're new. I don't see any wear on them. If they were worn, it was one time on carpet. Um, these are a size kids 12 black on black Ugg, and we're gonna do these for 20 bucks so cute <clears throat> then we have these I love these as well these are by nine West vintage America um, they are leather they're like a low cut um, cowboy boot two and a quarter inch heel slight pointed toe, black leather, excellent condition. These are in a size nine. They are a pull on boot. They've worn, been worn a few times, but they have the um, raw suede on the inside. So black little pull on cowboy boots, uh, size nine, $25. Next up, I have a pair of Michael Kors sneakers. I love these. These are black and white. They have, it's a little fuzz. They have the Michael Kors on the front here. They have the really pretty um, sparkle on the back and Michael Kors on the back as well. They are um, a little bit worn, just a little bit. Um, these are a size 11, and I will do these for $25. So cute. Um, next up, these are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are by Spring Step La, Ar La Artiste. Tell me these are not the most beautiful shoes you've ever seen. They are leather. They have this like black... Um, like edging to them. I love the rose on the front. So here's the branding. Spring Step La Artiste. These are size six and they are leather and I believe maybe they've only been worn once. Size six, beautiful red and black rose leather. Size six, La Artiste, $20. Excellent condition. Then we have Allegria. These are super comfortable. They compare to Dance Co. Um, these are leather. They're like a, um, I don't even know what you would call this, like a metallic blue purple. I don't even know. It's not really tie dye, but sort of. Um, they have the little Mary Jane right there. These are in a size nine and they are in very good condition. A little Mary Jane, blue, black, purple. And I'm gonna do these, these are size nine. I'm gonna do these for $25, excellent condition. And then last but not least, I have a pair of Kurt Geiger shoes. These are so cute, I wish they were my size. These are called Carvella by Kurt Geiger. And they are a wedge espadrille metallic gold lace up sneaker <laughs> and these are in a size six and they are in really great condition there's a little bit of you know dirtiness to the white wedge but other than that <clears throat> we are good it's a very light gold metallic leather <coughs> excuse me it's almost like a suede super cute size six carvella by kurt geiger and we're gonna do these for 30. Okay guys, that wraps it up. I'm going to grab the 
America's Thrift Supply Box. I'm gonna put the ordering instructions up one more time and we'll get right back into it. Okay, so I do have my 15% off coupon code. As far as I know, it's not going to expire. So when you go to americasthriftsupply.com and you place, you know, you get your stuff you want in your cart, and when you're at checkout at the promo code, discount code section, if you type in Kristen, you will save 15% on every order that you make. So let's see what we got. This is the, I literally just got this in the mail. This is the five piece brand name purse box. And I think it's somewhere around $55 with my code. Okay, we do have an invoice. I ordered this on January 19th, which was literally just the other day. Uh, yeah, $55.48 all in. Usually they give more than five if it's, you know, one of them or two of them are less than par. There's the first look. You can't really see too much, but it does look like, oh my gosh, is this a Patricia Nash? It is. Ah! I love Patricia Nash purses and I love selling them. They're such great quality. Oh my God, Shh, you guys. You guys. <laughs> so let's take a default picture. And I don't care if people make fun of me when I do this. Make fun of me all you want. <laughs> all right, there we go. There's the picture. And um, it has like this, uh, the handles do that all the time. So that's normal. Um, it's actually in really great shape. There's a little scratch right here along the top, a couple teeny scratches on the bottom, um, little teeny bit of wear on that corner, even less wear on that corner, a little bit over there. I will um, treat this. I will. I do have some red leather conditioner i can go over all of this and make the corners a little bit better but there are a couple little scratches that i don't know i'll be able to buff out but so just keep that in mind um the back pocket looks really great inside bottom looks great um handles are great except it's you know just a little bumpy which is that's what happens um it does have this here to cinch the bag in let's see what that looks like all right well it's not stuffed but you can kind of get the idea and then it also has the snap closure and then the inside oh i have a fortune you will be traveling and coming into a fortune oh my god i love it you know what's funny is Kyle and I are trying to plan a our first really big vacation together this year. So that's really great. You will be traveling and coming into a fortune. Okay, so the inside is very clean. You have your Patricia Nash. You have your zip pocket. Let me make sure that works. Yep. Very, very clean. Wow, I'm I'm very shocked that this is in here. There's your slip pockets, super duper duper clean. So I will put in a little bit of elbow grease to get this worked on and looking as best as I can for you guys. So with that, I'm going to ask, um, let's go for 85. Let's go for 85 on this one. I think it's well worth it. It is absolutely stunning, beautiful. Oh. I love it. All right. All right. Now let's see if we can see anything else in there. So not too bad. It looks like we got maybe a leather backpack right here on top. Oh, is this a Rebecca Minkoff? It is. Oh, this is cute, you guys. All right. Hold on. This is a Rebecca Minkoff. I saw that right there. It is black leather. Now... Let me just see, because you're supposed to be able to adjust this. 
to here like this so that the zipper is not exposed and you don't have people trying to unzip the backpack while you're wearing it. There, there we go. So it looks like this. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Okay, that I can get out. You have two little pockets on the sides here that zip. And they are clean inside. So the two little pockets on the side. I actually have one of these in like a white that I'm gonna be showing in my next purse auction, but it's not leather. You have a back pocket. You have the straps that are adjustable, gunmetal hardware. It looks like you can remove them and maybe only use one, like have a little um, sling. And let's check, I mean, I love all the tassels. That's what I love about Rebecca Minkoff stuff is all her tassels. So let's take a look at the inside. I really love this and I'm tempted to keep it, but I'm never gonna wear it because I don't really wear backpack purses. It, you can't see in there. It's very clean inside. Is this new? This might be new, because here's the tag. Um, $195 convertible mini Julian backpack because the inside is super clean. I'll put that in there. You have one little slip pocket and there's your Becca Minkoff. Oh, I do really like this a lot, but I don't really, I don't like backpack purses cause I don't like having to take it off every time I need to get into it. Um, so I'm offering it to you guys. I do love it though, but I'm, I'll never wear it. So um, you saw the price tag. It is, I think it is new. So I will offer this to you guys for 50 bucks. Oh my God, I love that. I love it. All right, let's take another peek. So we have like a, a beaded number. Get the hell out of here, you guys. I thought this was gonna be like a little vintage beaded nothing. Holy. Who is here? Somebody's pulling up in front of my house. It's like a delivery person. So Dallas might go crazy. And I might have to stop the video. So just saying. So this one has a um, chain strap. It is, let me see if it can go crossbody. Yeah, but it's a little high. So I would say just a shoulder. Yeah, let me stop it, hang Let's on. Let's continue. It has this really cool metal, like antiqued gold tone frame on it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. The beading, okay, so the beading is a little bit missing on the corner right there, but nothing is loose. Um, this corner looks okay. Yeah, the other corners look fine. Really cool metal detail, and then it's got the um, rhinestone there. So you can remove this chain if you would like. Let me see how to get into this now. Okay, yeah. It is like new on the inside. So you have your Patricia Nash with your zipper pocket, very clean, slip on the other side. Oh yeah, your phone is definitely fitting in there without a doubt. Wow. All right, I have to look this one up because I've never seen a Patricia Nash like this. Um, so I will put a price on the screen for you guys. Wow, 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 wow. So cool. All right, so that was only three, you guys. So let's keep going. Now we have the Vera Bradleys. These are like always in the America Surf Supply boxes. Um, this one actually looks like it's pretty new. Very bright colors, uh, paisley and florals. Uh, you can adjust it to be crossbody, silver tone hardware. I mean, I would think that this one's new. It's very vibrant. It doesn't look, um, yeah, I do think this is new because it has the little card still in there. 
The back has a pocket. The inside is a zipper closure, very, very clean with a zipper pocket. So yeah, gorgeous. I would say it's like new, um, 20 bucks. So that's four. So they gave us an extra one, even though these all look like they're in good shape. All right, so this one I've had before. This one is black with the bright florals. It is a crossbody or shoulder bag, silver tone hardware. Um, again, excellent, excellent condition. No outside pockets. Yeah, no outside pockets and no inside pockets. So this one will do 15. And then this is the last one. So this one is green, bright green. It is a crossbody or shoulder, silver tone hardware. It is adjustable. This one may not be like new. I do see just a teeny bit of like um, fading on this one. Teeny tiny itty bitty bit. Pocket, zipper pocket there on the front. You have a snap pocket that has your ID slot and then all your little, oh wow, there's a lot in there. So you got the zipper pocket there and then all your card slots down in here. And then you have a back slip pocket and then you have the interior, which is zippered and there's no pockets on the interior. Phone is gonna fit. Phone even fits in the back slip there. So again, excellent condition, just not as new as the other ones. We'll do this one for $12. Wow, you guys, that was probably the best box I've gotten from them, maybe ever. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. And did you have a favorite purse of the haul? Um, I think I have to say mine is going to be the blue Michael Kors and then um, the Rebecca Minkoff from the um, unboxing. So let me know your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe. It's free. Thank you guys for watching so, so much. Thank you. Thank you a million times. Thank you. And we will see you in the next one.